the Joe Rogan experience. You know, I had Bernie Sanders on yesterday, and uh, who? That guy is running for something. Oh, like, uh, he kind of looks government. like my dad. Yeah, a little okay, bit. Cool. Um, and uh, I briefly looked into the comments of uh, mm-hmm. one of the posts, and so many fucking people are so goddamn toxic. Yep. They're just battling it out left and right and misrepresenting his position mm-hmm. and misrepresenting. Someone was calling me an alt-right white supremacist, <laughs> white nationalist. I'm like, what in the fuck? <laughs> That's so hot. They said that <laughs> you should I make had, a t-shirt. So they, someone said that I had someone, what is it, Stormfront or something like that? What is that white supremacist page? Stormfront or something. They said I had the founder of Stormfront on my podcast. What the fuck are you talking about? You just make. Are you a proud up. boy? No, I'm but so I had, proud of those guys. I, and G- I had Gavin McGivin, who Gavin, Gavin McGinnis, yeah. who is the founder of the Proud Boys. Yeah. I had him on before, but I had him on before there was a Proud Boys. I didn't even know what the fuck. Yeah, the but proud also, boys why was. can't you and talk when to I had a him person? On, I I asked him about it, and I was critical. I was criticizing him. I was like, you can't just claim you're going to have violence with people. It's it's so fucking dumb. And then all the Proud Boys shit that happened with violence came far after that, but people are like yeah. blaming me for having him on. I don't even know what the fuck it is. He's the co-founder of Vice. That's it's what also I knew. Just, it's also interesting. Don't you want to hear the other side? Like, don't yes. you want to hear everyone's opinions and everyone's thoughts? Don't you want to try to understand and come to a common ground? Don't you want to realize, like, I'm not religious really or anything, but it's like we are all God's children. Like, there's missing this whole thing. It's this fight yes, against no. each other. Yes, but no. Okay, the problem is there's a lot of these people that do – go on shows and try to reinvent themselves sure. in a disingenuous way and they try to whitewash what they're doing or whitewash mm-hmm. their past. And to that point, I mean, the idea is that you're helping them recruit people. Okay. Before he was on my podcast, though, there was no recru- there was no people for him to recruit to. So the people need to understand, like, he wasn't, there was nothing. Like, I had him on because he was this guy who was funny and he used to do a lot of interesting videos. Right. He fucked up when he started that group and he fucked up when he was calling for violence and telling people to choke a bitch and punch people and grab these people. And he was doing it in response to the violence that Antifa was was pushing on right wing people that would have these meetings mm-hmm. and they would show up. Yeah, doing like it's not, the it's all, clown mirror back at them. It's all being crazy. Yeah. It was all poorly thought out. But the idea that that makes you a white nationalist because you talk to someone. Because you talk to them, yeah. It's so fucking stupid, but it's like this is the world we live in, and everything's so yeah. polarized. It's like you're left or right, you're black yep. or white, you're one or zero. It's like there's no gray area. With they also that. freeze you in the one moment that you said the thing, mm-hmm. and then there's no before or after. Right. There's no growth. There's nothing. It's like you're yeah. fucking out. Yeah, they just look for this quote trap and just that's yeah. it. You said that. You said that. Like no, like I clarified. I, I expanded. Yeah. I took it back. I revisited it. Like there's a lot of things yeah. that people do when you talk or you just, you know, you say things like you say things like you don't even know what the fuck you're going to say when you're saying it. Like yeah. you say, and then you go, oh, that doesn't make sense. And then you re re clarify. And when you're talking in long foreign conversation and like this in a podcast and someone wants to take a snippet out of it and I just decide that that's who you are. It's, it's nuts. It doesn't make any sense. And it's this is the world we're living in today. Everybody wants to paint everyone as toxic. Yeah. Everyone, they, you want to paint, so many people, I should say, want to paint people as being a problem or a negative thing. And it's like, this is the Twitter world where 20% of the people make 80% of the yeah. posts. Yeah. And so many of them are fucking losers. And Just, it's also, it's such a, you're giving all of your power out to outward. You're not paying attention to yourself. You're blaming mm-hmm. others. You're trying to change the world around you. You're trying to create a safe space through other people. Yeah. You're, well, like, I, do you know how unhappy you're going to be in your life if you're expecting other people to come cower to all of your demands and well, do all of your stuff? Everyone's of dealing with their own fucking shit. They're not trying to be happy. Part of it, what's, what they're trying to do is somehow or another score points and rack up, you know, and, and distract themselves from their own life by focusing on these external issues that they think are critical and super important. And some mm-hmm. of them are. Obviously, running for president, whoever's going to be president, very important issue. And most of the time, like 95% of the time, I avoid comments. But for whatever reason, I just found myself flipping through it because I wanted to see what the people think about Bernie. Yeah. I'm like, oh, what a mistake. You can't look. You can't look. It seems worse, though. It seems like every time I check, if I if I don't check Twitter for four months and then I check it, it's like, whoa, is that, if, if things accelerated this much or people are so angry at so many different things and just 
they they paint people in such character caricature way like AOC I, the, she is a woman who I don't think there I don't think I've ever seen anybody work so people work so hard to mischaracterize her mm-hmm. or paint her in in a horrible light and I'm like look she says things that I don't agree with but yeah. why is everyone so fucking angry like what is this well people were put all their thing on things on you know and they they have these beliefs and like definitely when I was in my whole like you know when I was extra angry and feeling you know you you have this whole system around you mm-hmm. and you you know you can't hear the other side and you have to like yes everyone has to be a villain in that or they they're either with you or against you and i don't know it's just to me it's just unhealthy i had to tap out i stopped paying attention to a lot of stuff and i don't know if that makes me ignorant i just got to live a happy life no i don't think it does make you ignorant i don't think it's a, an effective way to communicate i think it's a really p- piss poor way to communicate and i think it it fosters rage more than anything. Yeah. There's something about being able to talk to people where you don't have social cues, you don't have empathy, mm-hmm. you're not looking at them. And people say the meanest, nastiest shit yeah. to each other. And it's insulting people and dunking on people is more important than actual communication. Well, it's attention too. So it's, you know, they're maybe trying to impress their other buddies mm-hmm. that are on there. Sure. They're trying to get those extra little likes, right? They're like, the the main point would be they want to get your attention. Holy mm-hmm. shit, they got Joe Rogan's attention. That's so cool. You know, they just want to feel alive or whatever. And that's, you know, people have their own process. I try to not take anything personally. It's like, you don't know me. If you don't like me, like, that's weird. You don't know me. No. You shouldn't really have that much of an opinion. It's like not finding your validation. You can't find the good stuff or the bad stuff in the comments. You can't. But if just, you look at the comments for good things, it's just yeah. as bad as looking at for bad things. Yeah. I mean, some people think that it's a good idea to gauge, like, whether or not, the conversation was effective, whether or not you could have done something better to navigate it more efficiently or more, um, more entertaining for the, make it more entertaining for the people that are listening. Looking for the constructive criticism. Yeah. I mean, there can be some of that from some people. The problem is you're trying to manage all this data at scale, right? You know, mm-hmm. You're dealing with thousands and thousands of humans that are chiming in and a lot of them are deeply unhappy. Yeah. There's a lot of people that are commenting on things that are just really frustrated with their lives like imagine if someone saw or listened to you when you're like fuck man and fuck yeah. this, and they're like oh that's who she is right exactly and then you see they see you on here laughing and being silly yeah and they're like wait a minute who's this bitch yeah you know like that doesn't make any sense that's not the same person yeah well you're not the same person you're not the same person who you were six months ago <laughs>